The British Army has revealed that its Challenger tank upgrading project has begun at Armstrong Works in Newcastle, Northeast England, as the Russia-Ukraine combat pulls armored combat back into focus. The Challenger 3, an improvement of the legendary Challenger 2, has a new 120mm smoothbore cannon and can achieve speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. So, in today's video, we'll go through the Challenger 3, brush up on the Challenger 2, and wait until the end for all the updates. Challenger 2 There's no way to talk about the Challenger 3 without first talking about the Challenger 2. When the operator puts his foot down and the thunderous sound of its 26-liter diesel engine breaks loose, propelling the axles that carry the 65 tons of armor ahead, the hairs on the back of a civilian's neck spring to alert. Four highly trained crew members work within it, each with their tasks which, combined with an excellent orchestra, bring the weapon to its utmost lethal efficacy. The primary combat tank of the British Army is the Chally 2. The Challenger 2, although state-of-the-art, has now served more than 22 years and is due to start earning its well-deserved pension if it had been a soldier. Despite this, Challenger 2 is expected to be in operation until the mid-2030s, owing to a life extension scheme. However, there are conversations underway about ending the British Army's century-long heritage of heavy armor. The British Army received the first Challenger 2 main battle tank in June 1998, and the last of the 386 tanks were delivered in April 2002. Omens delivered were completed in 2001. That's correct, the Royal Army of Omen also uses the Challenger 2. The Challenger 2 is served in Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Kosovo. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, British Army Challenger 2 tanks were deployed on active duty. The Challenger 2 is stacked in terms of weaponry. The Challenger 2 tank is armed with a BAE Systems Land Systems L30 120mm rifled tank. In 2004, British Land Systems was given a contract to create a new smoothbore 120mm cannon for the British Army's Challenger tanks. A Challenger 2 was outfitted with a Ryan Metal L55 smoothbore cannon similar to the one used on the Leopard 2A6 tank and began fire experiments in January 2006. The L30 cannon is manufactured from Electro Slag refined steel. It has a thermal sleeve to keep it cool. It has a muzzle reference mechanism as well as a fume extractor. The turret can rotate 360 degrees and the weapon may be elevated from minus 10 to 20 degrees. It may hold 50 120 mm projectiles such as armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabots, high explosive squash heads, or smoke rounds. Using a stick charge propellant, the depleted uranium cartridge may also be fired from the L-30 cannon. The L-30 is part of the Charm 3-gun, charge, and projectile system with the DU round. The gun is controlled by a BAE Systems all-electric gun control and stabilization system. A Boeing 7.62mm chain gun placed to the left of the main tank gun is also installed on the Challenger 2. On the cupola of the loader is a 7.62mm GPMG L-37A2 anti-air machine gun. Challenger 3 The British Army is getting ready to start producing the Challenger 3 tank according to a new statement from the Ministry of Defense in the United Kingdom. The Challenger 3 will be the fourth tank to use the Challenger nickname, with the very first being the Second World War cruiser MK8 Challenger, which was also built on the Cromwell tank chassis and was equipped with a 17-pounder cannon. The second was the Challenger 1, which served as the British Army's main battle tank from the early 1980s until the mid-1990s when it was replaced by the Challenger 2, which saw combat after the 2003 Iraq War. The MOD recognized the need for a capability sustainment program in 2005 to extend the Challenger 2's service life until the mid-2030s while also improving its mobility, lethality, and survivability. The Challenger 3 program consists of an 800 million pound contract awarded to Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land, a joint venture between Rheinmetall and BAE Systems. The British Army is expected to receive 148 Challenger 3 tanks as part of the initiative. The Challenger 3 will be allocated to the 3rd Division, the British Army's premier warfighting force, after it has been fielded. The number of tanks has been reduced from over 500 to around 227 in previous defense evaluations, with sources indicating that just approximately half of them are out of storage and ready to deploy. Penny Mordaunt, the then Defense Secretary, went so far as to say the Challenger 2s were outdated in 2019. Challenger 2 has been in operation without a substantial update since 1998, she explained. The new turret will provide state-of-the-art lethality, improved survivability, and world-class surveillance and targeting systems for the Challenger 3 tanks. Challenger 3 tanks will be at the front line of the British Army's ground force deterrence against our enemies, Defense Procurement Minister Jeremy Quinn stated at Pearson Engineering, officially declaring this milestone. 
They'll be outfitted with the most cutting edge digital improvements and armament, offering assistance and assurance to their allies. The tanks are essentially Challenger 2 main battle tanks that have been converted. The British Army thinks that just by modernizing the Challenger 2's turrets, it will be able to breathe fresh life into a tried and true tank design without having to invest into a brand new main battle tank. The new turrets being developed at Armstrong Works are crucial to the decision to improve the Challenger 2 in order to make it more deadly against current armor. The freshly refurbished Challenger 3s will be equipped with a new 120mm Rheinmetall L55A1 smoothbore cannon, which will replace the present 120mm rifled cannon and be capable of firing ordnance at higher speeds and with more penetrating force. This is a significant shift from earlier British tank guns, which had rifled gun barrels. Because the Challenger 3 will be able to fire NATO standard ammunition, the smoothbore option will bring British tanks in line with most other 120mm NATO tanks. According to a statement, the tank's versatile turret may be attached to the tanks of allies and worldwide partners. It's uncertain whether any British allies will participate in the Challenger 3 turret development. The tank will also be outfitted with a new engine cooling system and suspension, which will increase the tank's accuracy while in motion. The Challenger 3 will also include a new automated target identification and tracking system to identify threats and improved cameras and imaging technologies. The new primary weapon will be able to fire multifunctional, sophisticated programmable ammunition, which will be programmed before being fired to eliminate a variety of buildings, vehicles, or dismounted soldiers. This will reduce the need to carry numerous rounds of ammo, increasing the number of ready rounds available to target whatever the vehicle may come across. Tank commanders will also benefit from the new set of sights, which will improve their day and night targeting capability. The new turrets will also be exported, perhaps for modifications to Omen's Challenger 2 main battle tanks in service and other tank types. The BCTs will be equipped with a variety of modern ground vehicle and aircraft by 2030, including Challenger 3s, Ajax infantry combat vehicles, boxer-wheeled armored personnel carriers, and the AH-64E Apache attack helicopter. Despite the fact that steel has been cut for the new Challenger 3 tank turrets, the new tank will not enter service with the British Army for some time. The first operational capability is projected for 2027 with complete operational capacity in 2030. New modular armor and the Raphael Trophy active protection system will be included in the updated tank's defense. The latter uses radar to detect oncoming projectiles and then fires interceptor projectiles in their direction. In addition, the upgraded tank will be equipped with an Israeli-made Trophy Active Protection System, which consists of a small number of projectiles that may neutralize oncoming threats such as anti-tank guided missiles, RPGs, anti-tank rockets, and tank heat rounds before they reach the vehicle. While the upgrade package will boost firepower and protection, mobility remains a concern. The current Challenger 2 weighs 82.7 tons with add-on armor modules, compared to 73.6 tons for the U.S. Army M1A2 Abrams SEP V3. The Challenger 3 program is part of the British Army's Future Soldier Modernization Strategy, which involves structural reforms centered on lethal, agile, and lean force of roughly 72,500 troops by 2025 down from 76,000 in 2021, structured mostly on deployable BCTs. Aside from the Challenger 3s, the Army is anticipated to use a variety of modern ground vehicles by 2030, including Ajax infantry combat vehicles and boxer-wheeled armored personnel carriers. So, what are your thoughts on the Challenger 2 and 3? Do you believe they will be able to meet their 2030 deadline? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.